Ahoy there, Captain Bensi here, coming at you with a quick guide for EVE Echoes, just for those of you who are getting started in the game. Now, recently I put up a video showcasing me going out into low security areas and nuking miners. Now, that video's had some really mixed responses. Um, some people sitting there laughing at it and going, yep, good, you need to teach these people a lesson. Other people getting quite offended and upset by it. You know, how dare I blow up all these poor, helpless, defenseless ships? So... This is a how to survive in space guide because adventure is anything but defenseless and quite frankly we're in beta. The whole point of this beta because as far as I know, people keep asking me this, as far as I know um, in, at the end of the beta we will be getting a full game wipe. Now those people who played in alpha and came across the beta did get a whole bonus to their skill points so it's entirely possible that those of us playing beta will get some of our skill points sort of refunded to us and immediately available um, for use once we go into live. I don't know anything further than that, I have no particular contact with the developers, I'm just a content creator making videos. Now that said, the point of beta therefore obviously is for us to be testing the game and giving our feedback, but also for me I'm using this as a great way of finding out how to do things. And I would rather learn the valuable lessons in a beta where I'm going to lose everything at the end anyway than I would in live. And the most important lesson in the entirety of EVE is straightforward, it's the golden rule. You do not fly in anything you cannot afford to lose. Don't get yourself a shiny new ship, jump in it, fly it out to low sec and then complain when it gets blown up because you don't have enough money to replace it. That's on you. Now what we're going to do in this video is ultimately go over the basics of navigating in space um, and how to survive as a low security miner. Now I am going to be doing this in high security space and I do recommend that if you guys are going to give this a quick try just to sort of test it out and see how you feel about all this, do it in high security space first then you can work it in low sec. So of course we have our venture. Now our venture, if we have a look here at its fitting You'll see that my fitting on the Venture is very, very straightforward. I've just gone for high slots for the miners. Um, I don't really give a damn about the drones because drones, at the, this point in time, drones, uh, we don't have mining drones in the game. Um, and for shields, I've just kind of gone for two civilian shield boosters. In fairness, it's probably better to go for something like a micro warp drive there or... Uh, various different things you could put into there. This isn't a great fitting is what I'm trying to say here. It's very basic and I will go over this properly in a future video. But what I want to discuss here is ultimately the basics of navigation. Now of course you should by now from your tutorials understand how to do autopilot from encounters. Obviously when you come to a system like this you know you can look at different parts like if I want to dock at this station I can go here. If I just want to jump over to this particular planet that's how I can do it and go mining yada 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 yada. But how do you find which systems have different things in them? That's here at the star map in the top right. So if I tap on that, it'll take us through to Maspa. Now, if I go into Maspa here, if I tap at the top on Maspa, you can see it gives me these uh, different options down the side. I can go to Solar System, and that gives me an understanding here of what is in this system. Now, you'll learn to read what these icons mean, but I know for a fact that these bits here are gates. They're like squares with triangles. Those are gates that jump to different sectors. Right at the centre of this, obviously it's a solar system, you have your sun or your star at the very centre um, and various different planets orbiting it and you can see these standard squares here are space stations. You can get an idea of approximately where you are in this system by looking at this map. It's not overly useful but it does just, it's a quick way if like I can sit here and go right okay let's pick a random star system, let's go up here. Does this particular system have any stations in it or is it just gates? Now this particular one appears to be just gates, there's no station in this system. So if I want to go to this system mining or something, I need to understand that there is no station for me to dock at. Anyway, so we're going to jump up to top level here. So this is here you can see Masper. Obviously you've seen the solar system. If we come out of that, we come to our set uh, sort of our, our system, our small collection of systems. Now this is Mossas, which is an average of 0.7 security, and you can see Masper flashing at the top, and you can see what all the different sectors around it that you can immediately jump to are. So from Maspa, I can immediately jump across here to Shala. I've got a gate into Zemalu or Zemalu, to Ibaria and to Juddi. If I want to come to, uh, say, down here to Berta, I'm going to, of course, have to jump into Juddi first and then down here. Now, if I know that Berta is the system I want to go to, you know, I, I can have a look at it and go, cool. Right, let's have a look. Berta, is there anything of interest here to me particularly? Uh, yeah, what if I really want to go to this particular planet? I can like look at that and go, cool, right. So come out here. I can tap onto Berta, 
set that as destination and it will set it on my autopilot here. I can then go to start. Now on your autopilot, of course, you can go here to change it to prefer shorter, prefer safer, or prefer less safe. Now the reason you might prefer less safe it is not obvious at first, but if you do a lot of PvP, you get a personal security rating, and if that goes low enough, you will find that system defenses will actually start attacking you. Um, so if you're a really bad space pirate, like I will probably end up being, I won't be able to go to like the major systems, simply because I will be blown away, so I can put prefer less safe so I can skirt around those systems. Prefer shorter is usually the best way, just keep an eye on where you're going so you're not going to null sec with a really big load but you can kind of have a look at these different areas here now all of this is under the system of derelict if you go to the full new eden map you'll see there's a massive map here of new eden and all these different areas I'm not entirely sure what you'd call these different areas clusters i suppose um, so for example masper the place where i tend to rest is in derelict so i can go to region there we are region map and here you can see all the different regions within uh, within Derelict. Everything from Mamuna down there in 0.2, right up to places like San Matar, which is an average of 0.8. Now again, if I go into Mossas, I can see the different systems here in Mossas. There we are. Come on, tap on that one. There we go. And you can see that Maspa is glowing at the top. So it just gives you a basic idea of how to navigate a star map. If I know, for example, that I really want to go to somewhere in, uh, so like Inn's Mother, I had to do a, uh, a jump to Inn's Mother the other day to get a load of stuff out of one of these stations. If I know which one it is I'm looking for, I can go, right, that's the station I want to go to. I can set destination, 31 jumps, my autopilot will now take me there. Obviously, I, I don't want to do that right now. That's the basics of navigation there, like moving between different star systems and getting an idea of what you're doing. Now, while you're AF, like if you're like autopiloting between those areas, I do strongly recommend just occasionally, as you come into a system you don't know, pull up your planetary production. Go down these and just have a look at what's in that particular system. There might be something you're really looking for. I do actually normally have a little notepad with a pen and paper. Uh, as I'm going through systems, I take a note of what those systems have available to them in various different planetary productions, that kind of thing. And that can be really useful to you. Just make a note of which systems have what you're looking for in them. Anyway, the final thing I wanted to talk about here ultimately is the surviving as a miner. And you know, when you've got people like me who come into your belts and like attack you. Now, ultimately, as I said, the you can see here that this particular venture, I've not equipped mu anything in the way of weaponry on it at all, um, other than drones, and there's no point. A venture is not really going to hold itself. Um, something like my Thrasher 2, if you watch the video there, comes in with nearly 200 DPS. This venture is going to be blown out of the sky long before I can even fire a shot. What I would do there, uh, therefore, is as a... Um, as a venture, you don't just sit there and go, oh, well, I'm just going to deal with it. No, you find the asteroid that you want to mine. Um, of course, you approach to the range you want to approach to. What you then do, as we approach here, I'm going to turn those mining lasers on. I'm not really going to do much in the way of mining here, simply because that, that's not the purpose. I also don't want to orbit. Of course, I turned my auto orbit back on. This is actually worth noting for people. Um, I don't have auto orbit on normally because I want to be able to change my orbit range comfortably in the middle of combat and I don't mind automatically doing so. Um, to me that just gives that little bit more control of your ship. So we're going to assume that you've started to approach this particular asteroid, this Plagioclase asteroid, um, and you're sitting comfortably at whatever range you want to be. So you can stop your ship there, you know, we've hit approach, I can now stop and sit at this distance. Now of course this is 0.8 security, no one um, no one is coming to me at this point. Let's end that just to get it off the screen. No one is going to come and kill me here. I can safely AFK mine in high security for now. There is every chance that belt rats are going to be added to EVE and there may uh, therefore be NPC pirates appear in asteroid belts that you'll need to be careful of. But imagine you're in a low security system and you're sitting here, you're mining, you're mining, you're mining, but you want to make sure that if someone jumps into the system, you're not going to be blown to smithereens. Well, first things first, what you need to do then is to align yourself to a way out. So I'm going to look here at this particular gate. Now there are two ways you can do this. You can either just kind of double tap the screen um, and it should point your ship in approximately that direction. I'm not sure if it's the Wi-Fi or yet. Yeah, there we go. Get there eventually. And we're kind of now facing that direction, which means if I need to warp to this quickly, I'm already facing it. I can quickly tap and hit, uh, hit warp. Alternatively, uh, and the way I prefer to do it, just to get it really nice and smooth, is to find your target, and let's have a look down here this time instead at Masper 5, just the planet. 
Um, I would recommend actually, you know, let's do it to a gate. Um, if you do it to a gate or a station, if someone does land a shot on you and then follows you to that place, the gate's defenses and the security of the station will blow them out the sky instead. So now if I've locked onto that eye barrier gate there, I can hit, uh, hit approach. It'll now turn me and align me to it. If I wait for that alignment to finish, I can then stop my ship and I'm now pointing in the direction that I want to go. Obviously now, <laughs> typically for this video, that asteroid has disappeared. But if I were mining that asteroid quite comfortably, I'm now pointing at Iberia. And I can sit there and I can have this open and I'm watching and I'm watching this. Um, and I can keep an eye out for if anyone jumps into the local system nearby. Um, obviously, this is easier when you're in a less populated system. I can see there, MBL Venture 2. If I assume that someone has just jumped into the system and I look and I see, oh, that's a Thrasher, they're probably coming to shoot me, I can tap on that and I can immediately hit warp. And in mere seconds, while that guy's still warping in and trying to lock onto me, I'm now preparing. I don't need to turn and face Iberia. Uh, the gate, I'm already locked onto it, boom, I'm out of that asteroid belt, he's not going to be able to destroy me. That is how you survive if you are solo mining in an asteroid belt in low security or null sec. You align yourself early to somewhere that is nice and safe to go to. Here, I'm in high sec, but if this was low sec, again, by jumping to this gate, if the guy fires a shot and comes at me, he is then going to immediately be blown apart by these turrets as soon as he gets into range of this gate. Now, don't rely on that. He might still make it into range and get off a final shot and enough to destroy you. So do be careful and get ready to jump again if needs be. Like now that I've landed here, I'm going to immediately look for somewhere else to jump to. Um, ideally, as soon as you get here, look for a station and align to that. Again, just hit approach so that we align ourselves toward that station. This way, if this guy does jump into this system and immediately appears here, um, as soon as I hear, see him appear there in, uh, in local, I can quickly tap down here and again, I can jump straight through to that station. And that will warp me very quickly across. If I've taken any form of damage at all, I can dock and I can repair. That is how, as a miner, you survive in space. You are not a combat machine. You are not safe going AFK in anything below 0.5. Currently, in 0.5 or higher, because there are no belt rats and because you cannot engage people in high security areas, um, because of how the game is currently set up, beta, subject to change, you are safe to AFK mine in 0.5 or higher. If you're 0.5 or lower, pre-align yourself to a gate or to a station, and keep an eye on your overview. And as soon as you see another player come in in a ship that is not a mining ship, you get the hell out of there as quickly as possible. So don't come to me crying that, oh, it's so harsh that people are blowing up ventures. That's on you. It is a lucrative industry and it helps Eve in several ways. To just finish this video, I'm gonna mention those. Now, if you are in Eve, and you want to be a pirate, that can be a very lucrative business. I can go into a mining belt, an asteroid belt, I can blow up a miner, and drift back to a nearby station, come back with a big ship, or if I've got a decent enough cargo hold, I can loot what I want there, take it back to station, drop it off, jump out and grab the rest kind of thing. Um, I can pick and choose from their loot. It can be a very lucrative way of getting loot very quickly and thus earning a lot of money. So one, piracy is a completely valid way of making money in EVE. Secondarily, my old job in my corporation, as I said, used to be protection for miners. My job was to sit and watch miners. I would be in a belt with the miners. They'd be doing their thing in Nullsec, collecting all their ores. And as soon as an enemy ship jumped into uh, the belt, they would, having pre-aligned, jump to somewhere safe and I would lock onto and engage whichever target had just entered our asteroid belt and blow him sky high. Now, not only would I get the bounty for killing him if he was a particularly notorious pirate, I would get whatever loot was in his hold, and as a thank you, I would get a, a small cut of the ores that those miners were mining and gathering. So it was a great way for me to make money. Uh, go if you sit there and complain that, oh, pirates ruin the game. No, they don't. They created a job for me back in EVE. If you want to go combat heavy in the game, then protecting miners and protecting haulage convoys um, can be a really great way to make some money on the side. Secondarily, of course, that's, you know, in addition to whatever loot you grab. Secondarily, if you're a guy who is mining and making ships, well, 
there are only so many players in EVE, and if all those people have all the ships they want, then you're not going to be selling any more of your ships, are you? If you're mining materials to make Venture 1, 2 and 3 ships and selling them on the market, you're going to kind of hope that people are losing their ventures, and if idiots with more money than cents are going to go AFK mining, then you kind of want them to occasionally get blown up, so that they have to come back to you and buy a new ship. It's just good business. Anyway, that's my reasonings for why I'm quite happy to blow up ventures who are mining AFK in low and null security, and I do hope you'll come and join me. Teach these people that AFK mining in low security is not a valid strategy. It is not a great way to do things. They need to learn that now, while we're still in beta, and while they're going to lose everything anyway. Don't let them learn it in live, because that sucks. Anyway, folks, I do hope to see some of you guys out there in the belts blowing up some uh, AFK miners. And if you are a miner who likes to go AFK, hopefully this will inspire you to stop going AFK in low security. And if nothing else, hopefully it will inspire you to learn how to mine safely. Because heck, even if I'm not advocating for people to do all this kind of PvP ratting and stealing your stuff, if I'm not advocating piracy, someone else out there will be. Ergo, uh, it's important that you learn how to protect yourself from it. Anyway, folks, as usual, I do hope you've enjoyed this video. Let me know down in the comment section below. Of course, come and tell me how wrong I am and how horrific it is that I'm blowing up poor defenseless miners. Boo-hoo. Lol. They're running around with all the, that juicy ore in their hold and flying like an idiot. I'm going to take it from them. Make them stronger. Character building. <laughs> Thanks for watching, folks. Happy sailing and see you in New Eden.